Really? Yeah. Elgin, besides the difference in score, what was the major difference in tonight's game and the game played in New York? Well, uh, Tom, I think the, the fact that uh, uh, we were more conscious of, of the press tonight. Uh, we looked at the film before the ball game, and uh, we saw where we weren't hitting the open man. The guy wouldn't shoot in the gap uh, to get open to get the ball. They were very effective with it the other night, and they used it the entire second half. Uh, they tried it again tonight, and I think that uh, they saw it wasn't working. Actually, we got a lot of easy open shots, you know, to the corner man and to Wilt. And uh, I thought that made a difference in the ball game. One of the difference in the fact that uh, Wilt was going to the basket with more authority tonight. We were able to get the ball in a lot easier, a lot better than we did the other night, and it just made all the difference in the world in the ball games, particularly our offense. Elgin was a team embarrassed by you losing to New York in such a let's roll that again. Elgin was a team embarrassed by losing to New York in such a way you did. Well, naturally, we were disgusted and embarrassed. I mean, because we figured with the type of lineup they had in there, the small team, that we should really beat the team. We felt that uh, at the time when we started off the ball game, we were playing so well when Reed was in there that I think everyone felt that we'd win the ball game in a big way. But seemed, somehow we lost our poise in the second half. We weren't able to regain it and just seemed as though everything we did was wrong. And uh, tonight, I mean, they made a run at this. Tonight, uh, they got as close as 13 points, but we did call a timeout. And we regained our pause, I think, and uh, we the coach talked it over. You know, we remembered the other night what had happened, and we were determined not to let it happen again tonight. Put some groans in there. Ah, good luck. Well, let's be, try it again. Hey, cut <laughs> that out. Yeah, it may have been on us too. I thought it was the ram, but we really don't know. Will Chamberlain, what part did Pride play in your performance tonight and the team's performance? Well, I don't know exactly what part Pride Pride played, but uh, uh, you know I believe we're all uh, professional athletes out there. Time that we're trying to we're trying to do a job, and unfortunately one of us will have to end up being a loser, and uh, uh, that's an unfortunate thing because I believe that uh, the American sport fan has uh, somewhat unjustly criticized uh, you know uh, professional athletes uh, when they don't win for their particular city or their particular you know team. And I think that's an unfortunate thing because uh, we're all out there trying, and I think that uh, more credit should be given for the type of performance that you're that you're giving out there, and uh, a lot less credit given for just just the win. I mean, because a lot of times uh, the win on, win isn't indicative of what really happened. You know, now if the if the Knicks lose, uh, uh, they always feel that they may have won if Willis has stayed healthy. And uh, we have guys that are not completely healthy on our team. Elgin is playing under very adverse conditions right now. And, uh, and we all, you know, are trying to do, do our part. So I definitely feel that uh, uh, if people can get a chance to see a great basketball game, and this is what these, bo these two teams are both doing, that they should be, you know, really a lot more satisfied with that than anything else. Uh, Walt, you've mentioned people. And uh, I want to know if you were somewhat embarrassed as a team after losing to New York in the fifth game in the fashion that you did. Well, uh, you know, it's uh, <laughs> embarrassing. Uh, find us as a professional, especially under the circumstances. Well, I, uh, I'm definitely very, very happy uh, and uh, gratified that I was able to do something to help us uh, uh, get as far as we've gotten. And uh, that's, you know, that's all I can possibly ask for of myself. Well, good luck in New York. Thank you. What part did Pride play in tonight's victory? Well, Tommy, no one likes to look badly. Uh, again, uh, I think the game we played in New York Monday night, uh, I think everyone was embarrassed by it. Uh, uh, we were ready to play basketball, and I think we would have won that basketball game regardless of who, who had played. Uh, our team, uh, we were just ready to play. Do you feel that winning the championship without Willis Reed playing will take some of the glamour away from it? Well, Tommy, uh, team do tonight, Jerry, to counteract New York's fast five. Well, tell me what we did tonight. Uh, we played much better defense the first quarter. They didn't get a lot of easy shots. Uh, I really felt that that really that, that decided the ball game. Uh, we let a, we did a lot of good things uh, offensively and defensively. And of course, when Wilt turns into the basket like that, it makes all the difference in the world. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Charlie, how you doing? Okay. Good. Jerry, what part did Pride play in tonight's victory? Were you embarrassed losing to New York in game five in the fashion that you did? Do you think that winning a championship without Willis Reed playing will take some of the glamour from it? What can we expect from the Lakers in New York? What did the Lakers do specifically tonight to counteract New York's fast five?
Okay, I'll just, yeah, just look up there anyhow, you know. Okay. Well, Chamberlain, were you embarrassed by losing to New York? Let's do it again. Well, Chamberlain, were you embarrassed by losing to New York in the fashion that you did? What part did pride play in tonight's victory? Is your performance tonight considered by you one of your finest in professional basketball? Do you consider your performance tonight one of your finest in professional basketball?